apparently Twitch doesn't save your streams um, if they're under a certain time limit, but it doesn't say what that time limit is. Now, I streamed a few weeks or months ago. I streamed some music for and played for like 10, 15 minutes, and it was never recorded. Now, I've gone in and made sure everything's set to be recorded, and I had a, a live stream here three days ago, and it worked just fine. Then, um... Um, tonight I had to run in with the police, and, and I don't see it here in the archive, so I thought my understanding was when I'm streaming live on Twitch that, um, no matter how long the stream was, it would just be recorded, so that's really disappointing. So what if I got shot? What if something bad happened? Luckily, I can handle myself and not to talk and negotiate my way out of stuff, but... <sighs> Imagine how many people haven't. They can't. Maybe they did try to stream on Twitch, only a few minutes stream, so they cut it off. So, I guess I'll have a look here, see how long it takes for this to start to fucking record. Checking on my computer here, my broadcasts. It's only one recent broadcast, which says we're live. Hmm, might as well have to wait and wait, wait. Uh. So I wonder if there's any way I can put some text on the screen. Maybe I'll just put in the chat. Maybe I'll just type in the chat. Go to the beginning of my fucking stream. If you get here, because I'm just going to be doing another fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Please must love that. Oh, but wait, they probably want to fucking... The police... <laughs> the police, right? They probably want to, um... Uh... They kind of want to use Twitch, right? Your technology, because you can stream and record, but then you can't. It kind of sucks. You can't just record a quick five-minute thing and stream it and it be recorded. You don't have the technology to do that. This is weird. I'm sure the police would love to be able to use this amazing streaming technology to s so that we can keep an eye on them so they don't go around killing everybody. What are you guys doing, Twitch? Why isn't this being saved? Please. <laughs> I guess it will eventually once it realizes I'm a stream or something. Let's see. Hmm. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Let's see, it shows that I'm live. It doesn't show it in recent broadcasts. So I'm, I'm logged in under mine. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just get back to whatever I was doing here. These fuckers are still alive. I don't think they're still alive. Right Okay, here, I think it eventually start recording after a certain amount of time, but here is the most annoying bug I've ever experienced in my entire life. 
it's super easy to fix. I've I programmed a fix for myself, but it, this fix isn't for everybody. So what's the situation? I'm currently watching, or I was watching a live stream. The live on YouTube.com. YouTube.com. Here's the URL. V equals six capital Q capital L capital T zero R lowercase R. Just one R. 71 DH uppercase M. Onion nuggets, 9, 24, 24, deep fat fried. So what happened here is they had a live stream. And the live stream has since ended. Which means that this has gone into an archive. Okay, but look what happened. I paused it. I paused the live stream while it was live. I was actually behind while it was live, which is cool. YouTube is so cool like that. Then, I went away. They ended their stream. I come back. So what is the expected outcome when I click play? It seems so simple, right? When I click play, it should just play the video, right? It should just play the video. Now, just because this is really fucking annoying. I have a little trick that I learned before I wrote the code to do this. That I had to do because I've reported this to YouTube years and 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 years ago. Probably a decade ago at this point. Whenever they've been doing live streams, they've had this bug. So, what's my little trick? So, I look at the timeline. I look at the end. Not that end, because that's the live end. So, I go to the other end. And I see... We are at... Minus 327.48, 327.48, 327.38, whatever. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go to wolframalpha.com. I'll type that in. What was it? 327. Okay, what was that? Where was that tab? Okay, right, right there. Okay, so it was 327.38, and then we'll subtract, go back to the thing, and we'll go to where we are right now, minus 211.10. Wolfram Alpha minus two eleven ten. And so here's my little formula. It should understand it as to being time. So compute What do we got here? Result twenty two hours, right? Assuming is a time use as referring to units instead. So, two hours, 11 minutes, 10 seconds. Subtracted from three hours, 27 minutes, 38 seconds is one hour, 16 minutes, and 28 seconds. Okay, so that's where I am in the video. Now, one hour, 16 minutes, 28 seconds. Here's the computation on Wolfram Alpha. Of course, I wasn't even showing you anything on my fucking screen. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. So whatever. Now, if I go back to YouTube and I inspect, bring up F12. So I bring up F12, and then I press the uh, Select an Element in the Page to Inspect It button. 
I click on that, and you come over here to the timeline. It pops into the HTML. Now, you poke around in this little HTML for a second. That's near this. Of course, here it's gonna get full screen. If you poke around this HTML, all oh, here it is. So we have a div here that says div class equals ytp dash progress dash bar, tab index equals zero, role equals slider, aria label equals seek slider, aria value min equals zero, aria value max equals one, two, four, seven, two. That has to do with the um, length and seconds of the live stream currently. Aria value now is 4632. That's where we are now in seconds. Aria value text, 1 hours, 17 minutes, 12 seconds of 3 hours, 27 minutes, 52 seconds. So this is all confirmed in the code. They have this working. They have the math, that math I did on wolframalpha.com. They already have it done here. Okay? So what should happen when I press the play button? Let's fucking see. Now, my expectation would be that you would remember that one hour, 17 minutes, and you play from there, from the archive. Or you just continue playing here and just keep this interface, whatever. Now, let's see what happens. So, I press play. Literally, like, I close your eyes and imagine the stereo... What the fuck was that? It's now at the beginning of the video. It's now at the beginning of the video. It's the beginning of the video! It knew where to go. One hour, 17 minutes. I did the math. I confirmed. It already had the math done in the HTML. And they cannot fix this. I've reported this 10 different ways to Sunday. I reported it to Twitch. They fixed it. <laughs> Eventually, within like a few months. Reported it over and over and over again. Through their little fucking thing. And you go, you send the fucking feedback, right? You click on the hamburger menu. You fucking scroll down. Send feedback. And you get this form. It takes a screenshot of the page. It's all professional. It sends it to them, right? I'm t am I talking to YouTube or not? Have I ever sent them a thing that says this is broken? Apparently not because no one's looked at it. Not only that, no one on YouTube ever in their entire life has been in the same situation that I am in multiple times a week. Not a single person on YouTube has come across this issue where they're watching a live stream. Oh, this is cool. It's being our card. Like a podcast? No one does podcasts like that? This is the only show that does a live podcast like this? A deep fat fried? No, it's not. Out of every single person watching every single podcast, every single thing that's done live, they never go and pause it and be like, oh, I'll come back later and watch it. Not a single one. And not a single one of them experiences this issue often enough to report it. Because otherwise it would be fixed, right? Like, this is so fucking annoying! And it just... It, why won't it get fixed? Now, am I being recorded on Twitch or not? What are you going to go for an hour or what? 30 minutes? Says I'm live. I set my settings to be record every fucking thing. I double checked it the other day. 
the fuck is going on? So fucking ridiculous. Okay, you want to see the code? That I fucking wrote to fix it? Here's my solution. Now, I could have made a fucking plugin in Chrome, but you know how hard that is. So I made some... And just unreasonably hard. For some reason, the Chrome developers had never thought that you might want to update the code to your plugin and then have it refresh in the fucking so that when you update the code, you're getting the new version of the code when you're developing the plugin and testing it in the browser. They've never thought of this. They never needed this feature before, I guess. So I can't develop plugins for Chrome because I'm a reasonable fucking human being and I write barely one line of code at a time, save it, test it. One line of code, save it, test it. That's how you write code. Any system doesn't allow you to do that? What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna go, like... Ah, I need to fucking kill someone so fucking bad. I just cannot get a fucking break. So what was my little fucking solution for this? Control shift B. That brings up my fucking YouTube, my fucking bookmarks bar in Chrome. Right? Now, I have two different bookmarklets. One called YouTube Live Stream and one called YouTube Live Stream 2. Now, what YouTube Live Stream does is it just goes, it finds the um, element, that seek bar that has the one hour, 17 minutes in it. It just looks at. It doesn't have to look at that because the, the number's already encoded in seconds that you can use for, like, the question mark T equals, you know, when you can link to a very specific time in a video. That number's already computed. It's already there. That was, like, that 4,000-whatever number. So I just have some code. It goes to there. It looks at that number, and then it adds it to the URL. And then it goes there. So now it's playing at the correct time. But now there's another issue. That's my simple, quick, fix, dirty solution. But now there's another issue, which is that the... Now I pause it again. Now I pause the video again. Which time code is it going to remember? Well, it all depends. Because then, like, what will happen is you go away from the tab. And then the tab gets unloaded from memory. And then you go back to the tab, it gets loaded back in, it refreshes. It refreshes, and now it goes back to the time code that I saved before. And not the time code that I was at. Okay, that's fine. Well, all I do is I press the first one. That links you to the right time code where you were. And then I wait a few seconds. By then, <laughs> YouTube will actually have remembered the time code where you are in the video. So now I have another um, bookmarklet that it just refreshes the page and takes off that question mark T equals. And so now it'll play at the correct spot. And I've got to do this so much. Now, what's the code? What's the code? What's the code? Well, unfortunately, it's not formatted very well. Fucking cares. Is this being recorded? And their broadcast thing is automatically right there. I was there from before. Okay, let me check my settings again, I guess. This is a fucking funny one. How do you get to the settings on Twitch where you're to see if the stream's being recorded or not? Oh, someone sent me a message. Probably spam, right? Ma 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 ma. Oh yeah, catch the effort. Yeah, ad break. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. How do I? Change that setting. 
shouldn't that be privacy, right? Whether the stream is recorded, that's a private thing. So I got some right, I'm on twitch.com. And I saw I go over to my little menu thing, right? With, my, with me. It's my little menu. I got channel, video producer, creator, dashboard, privacy center, safety, emote attribution, subscriptions, drops and rewards, wallet, settings, content tuning, language, dark theme, log out. So I'm thinking, is the stream being recorded or not? That must be a privacy thing, right? Okay. It's a privacy center. So twitch.tv slash privacy. Whoa, no, this ain't it. No, that's some... Um, that's some... Um, sales page or something for Twitch. Back, back to the stupid stream. Okay, so it's not that. Okay. Okay, I already clicked pause. Why isn't this one solved? I literally cannot pause a video. I love the video loads in the page. I know it's going to load in. I know it's going to play. And I know I'm not going to have any of it. So I press pause. And it pauses it. But then it plays it again. I already told it to pause. Why are you playing it again? You're just trying to fuck with me. I just need to eat. I'm just... Every little thing just has to fuck with me. And I can't even fix it. And I'm an ex... This is my expert... This is my expertise. This is what pisses me off so much. A simple esoteric... What the fuck is going on, bug? I find exactly in the code where it fucking is and I can fix it. And no one wants me to do it. Is this even being, oh my god, I don't even know to do this fucking rant again. So, channel, I was already at my channel. Video producer, my video's already been produced. Creator dashboard. Hey, that's for fucking bullshit, isn't it? Privacy center, safety, emote attribution, subscriptions, drops and rewards, wallet, settings. Okay, I guess this is a setting. I'll go to settings. <sighs> well, look at this. Settings, profile, prime gaming, channel video, security and privacy, notifications, connections, content preferences. Okay, so what am I trying to do again? Right, I'm trying to see if this stream is being recorded or not. Okay, so profile, prime security and privacy, right? Contact, email, security, Password, tooth factor authentication, privacy, block users, story mentions, video overlays in the way, stories clip sharing, stories resharing. Block whispers from strangers, block, block just some switches, but none of these switches, okay, maybe I'm not reading too fast here, hold on. Privacy, blocked users, story mentions, stories clip sharing, stories resharing. Block whispers from strangers. Block receiving gifts on channels you don't follow. Hide progressive gifter badge and gifts given count. Hide subscription 